I'm Scott Martzloff, Superintendent of Schools in the Williamsville Central School District. Our community experienced a recent tragedy when Jamie Rodemeyer, a freshman at North High School, committed suicide. This is a terrible loss for our schools, our community, and Jamie's family, to whom we extend our heartfelt condolences. Our initial response to this event has been to support Jamie's family, friends, peers, teachers, staff members, and our entire community in dealing with their grief. Our crisis team was activated and additional supports were put in place to help everyone deal with this tragic situation. In addition, we began an immediate investigation and continue to cooperate with the Amherst Police Department as they consider potential criminal charges in this matter. We continually strive to maintain an environment in all of our schools that promotes the physical and emotional well-being of all students and staff. As a parent of three Williamsville Central School District students myself, student safety is a top priority for me. You should know that we have also just taken action regarding an incident at the North High School dance. While our investigation continues, we have already identified a student that we believe is responsible for this incident and have imposed a suspension to the fullest extent allowed under education law. Let me be clear, we will not let the actions of any student threaten the emotional well-being of others. Our entire philosophy is to promote the education, health, and development of our students in an atmosphere of acceptance and mutual respect. We have comprehensive wellness programs that span all grade levels and permeate our curriculum through bullying prevention, character education, asset development, and community collaboration. Each school in our district has planned special activities for this Monday, October 3rd, which is World Bullying Prevention Day. Students have the opportunity to hear special messages centered on kindness, respect for differences, and reaching out against bullying in the days leading up to this event. Principals at each of our schools have sent out and posted a letter on their school webpage outlining the programs in place and how to report bullying incidents. In addition, we are meeting with our PTSA groups to discuss the issue of bullying and the programs and avenues that we have in place to address this insidious problem. We are also exploring a partnership with the University at Buffalo and their experts in the area of bullying prevention in order to conduct additional training for every adult that works with our children. A certified trainer in an internationally researched bullying prevention program will also assist us in the ongoing review of our procedures and protocols for handling bullying allegations and training for teachers, administrators, and staff members. Our message to children being bullied everywhere is clear. If you're feeling threatened, reach out. We don't want children to suffer in silence for any reason. There is help available. If you suspect that your child has been bullied, I urge you to contact your school's principal. If you do not feel that your child's emotional safety is being adequately addressed at the school level, I would also ask that you contact me. We must work together to prevent bullying situations. In the coming days and weeks, we will be sharing more information with all of you regarding these efforts, as well as upcoming seminars that we are planning on the topics of internet safety, cyberbullying, suicide prevention, and other pertinent topics related to the emotional safety of our children. Thank you.